Take ne five. The next sounds we've got are auxiliary sends. I call it just says auxiliaries, but they're sends. And what that does is it sends that signal's come down here, it's got to this point, and it's a little mixing channel in its own right across there. There's an output up here that says auxiliary one sends somewhere. Here's the auxiliary sends, you've got one and two. That's auxiliary one and two. Everything, if you turn all these up here, all the signals coming in go to there, that's your master volume, and then out of auxiliary one send here. It says auxiliary send there, you've got auxiliary one and auxiliary two. You got that? Unless that's all too fast. Are you with that? Okay. Yeah. That's your auxiliary send one, and then you've got auxiliary send two. It does exactly the same. You can set a completely separate mix up and send this out to auxiliary two. And this is what goes to your fallback on stage. Oh, yeah. These are how you set your fallbacks up. And when we do the sound check, we'll set the fallbacks up so everybody can hear what they need to hear. And the idea is that you, you ask, if you're, you've only got two fallback circuits on this, which is enough for a setup like this, but you need to hear yourself, usually, so we'll get some of that coming through for which forward speaker you're near to, and we get that mix up, you'll need to hear somebody else's performance so you can play along with them or sing to them so you know what's going on. So getting that fallback mix is quite crucial, making the band work right. Because you can't hear yourself properly, you can't play properly, can you? So the first thing you do in the sound check is this, get the fallback set up. And you get that on stage, and then get it as low as possible. That is purely for your benefit as performers, nothing else. Not for us, uh, this side, it's just for on stage. So we want to get that as low as possible, so that when we come to the front of house stuff, which I'll come to in a moment, we've got control of what's going on. Because if it's too loud up there, you can't do anything. Yeah. If that's blaring out from the fallback up there, there's nothing you can do on the desk. Yeah. People keep pointing, saying, yeah, so you can't do anything. So that's got to be set up first. And that's the first thing you set up in your, in your sound check, is, a, is the performer's fallback. What I've introduced in here is what's called talkback. So I'm using a spare channel. And from here, you can talk to the fallback speakers. So it's say shouting, jumping up and down. <laughs> so you can actually talk to people how on stage. You, how have you put that into that? I just plug that mic into that channel there, and I send its signals to there. So one, two, that's talking to the fallback now. Yeah. yeah. I'll come to the... And you can set it up so it only goes to the fallback speakers and yes. not to the... That's all it's doing Is that basically the spare channel? Yeah. yeah. 